Before you start watching, you should know that this was recorded ages ago. So maybe there is some complexity on what I'm saying, but you know, at the end of the day, you get the message. So yeah, I mean, real life gets in the way. So what can we do? Just watch the video and know that some of the dates I mentioned, some of the pictures I put are uh, recent and maybe something else. So yeah, keep that in mind and enjoy the video. I like two things in life, food and video games. But the issue is, if that I don't own the video game, then how am I gonna live? You see, these video games I own are mostly digital. And you know what's the issue with that? I don't own these games. No, I own the license to access these games. You see where I'm getting at? That's the issue. And wanna know why it is an issue? Because these games one day are going to be inaccessible. Yeah, the license are going to be provoked and basically you will not own any games that is if you're like me which is 90 percent of the game you own yeah that's sad anyways so what i'm saying here is that when you go and buy games on steam or anything that is similar to that you are just buying the license and what i'm doing this video for is just to do something about it I don't want to own the license. No, I want to own the game. I want to own the actual game. Even though it is a digital game, no, I still want to own it. Not just some license that one day it's just going to cease to exist. Well, that's an issue for another day. What I want to talk about today is what happened recently with Ubisoft game called The Crew. Well, you see, the game is now delisted. I mean, it's been delisted since before the beginning of 2024. But anyways, it's delisted, yeah? That means you cannot buy it anymore. And you know what's more troubling about this? Yeah, at the end of March, they shut down the game servers. You see now some people who doesn't even know about this game are telling me, Pilot, what's wrong about that? The issue is that this game is like the always online game. So basically, if you want to play the story, you know, the campaign of the game, no, you ain't playing it. Want to know why? Because you need to connect to the internet. And guess what? Ubisoft have shut down the servers to access this game. And you want to know what's the trouble with that? You cannot access the game anymore. Now let's talk about some of the reasons why Ubisoft have shut down this game. The first reason is because, you know, the servers are gonna cost them. The second reason is that they own licenses for in-game content and they are not going to renew these licenses anymore. Well, these are the two main things. There are other things, but yeah, I'm not going to go deep into that. What I want to go is what's it going to affect on us. First of all, nobody's going to buy that game anymore since it's delisted. So yeah, if I go tell somebody, hey, there was a game called The Crew, it is amazing. Unfortunately, you cannot buy it though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I played this game myself. I didn't complete it. And now that, you know, the game is coming again and I'm talking about it right now, I really want to do go back and play it. Yeah, that's sad. Another reason is that now the game is inaccessible for single player use. That means I'm not going to play the story anymore. I barely know just the beginning of the story and now I'm intrigued to know what's the ending of the game. Though I can look it up, no, I want to experience it, okay? And lastly, let's talk about, you know, the disappointment of the people who already own and play this game at the moment. Imagine one day you play a game and you're happy playing it and everything. But then one day you finish up your session, you go to sleep, you wake up and you turn on whatever you're playing the game at. And yeah, you cannot play the game anymore. I believe the game is going to be deleted at this point. You see where I'm going at? And this is just an actual live example that you can see right now. Let me tell you about some other games that will happen to when they one day will just stop existing. And some of these games that I've played myself are the Destiny franchise. I mean, yeah, now there's Destiny 2, but Destiny 1 is still alive, but 
you know, it's still on a ticking clock. But let's hope Bungie does something even though, you know, the last couple of months they've been doing. Anyways, let's talk about another game, which is one of the games that I played an hour ago. You know what? Less than that, which is Warframe. I really love this game. Yeah, a game I've been playing Fallout 76. I really like it. I like the Fallout franchise. Man, a TV show is now live about this game. Well, yeah, another example. There's also GTA Online. Now that GTA 6 is coming soon, what's gonna happen to GTA 5 Online? Is it just going to disappear or what? There's also Genshin Impact. I'm just putting it there for those who into you see these games are always online game that means if the internet just suddenly shut down in the entire world poof these games are gone you see what we want to do is that when these developers stop developing this game anymore we want them to maybe put in something patch in something to make this available offline you know most of destiny you can play the content by yourself solo and you can ask me about that because yeah I don't have any friends. Anyways, the same thing goes for Warframe and also Fallout 76, GTA Online, Genshin Impact and much more, you know, it's not just limited to the games that I've been playing. So enough of me rambling about this, what we want to do is try to do something about it. What can we do? Depending on where you are living at, you can start by going to stopkillinggames.com. This is a website made by Accursed Farms. You'll find him in the description. Go check him out. He will tell you more about this. And not only that, you can go and also check some ordinary gamers. He's been talking about this. So yeah, anyways, that's our topic. Guys, please, please do something about it. We want to own the games that we bought. And we also wanna own the games that we bought that are multiplayer. And there is also these people who says that, you know, there are issues, you know, they're meant to be multiplayer and everything. Okay, how about I have the game, I can play, you know, the bare minimum of missions, quests and whatnot. And also, if I wanna play online or anything, there can be, you know, people who make these networks and whatnot. You can host your own session and people can join with you, friends, whatever. And that way, you know, these companies can make a always online game when the time ends to games that you can play offline. Yeah, we talked too much about this, but what I wanna say at the end is please preserve the games. Please let me own my games. Okay, goodbye. Mm -hmm.